now that we've been out and had a bit of fun, it's time to uh, do some basic maintenance to boat and trailer to make sure that you get the longest life possible out of it. One of the biggest killers of boats, and especially the trailers, is coming home, giving a good tub, putting it into a shed, shutting the door. With no circulation in there, even the fresh water that's left laying around and small bits of salt water will start to interact on the paintwork and galvanise and non-galvanised parts of your trailer. So hint number one is to get your boat home, give it a good wash, detergent, get all the salt off of it, rinse it off and then leave it in the driveway to dry, including your carpets. One of the worst things you can do is tarp down a boat straight away, it becomes a sauna inside and in no time at all that expensive two-pack paint job that you put on it will be lifting off, it'll be bubbling everywhere. So give it a good airing out. If you have to put it in a shed, put in a oscillating fan just to circulate some air around the boat while it does dry over a period of time. As your trailer brakes settle in, the disc pads wear slightly, you'll find that your brakes may need adjustment. Uh, when that happens, you'll find there'll be a lot of clunking and banging in the back of the car as the uh, boat moves backwards and forwards on this um, overrider system. Now, to adjust it, we can go down here and adjust up the tension on the cable, and we adjust it until we have about one centimetre gap between the back of the ram and the lever. One centimetre is fine. The biggest killer of wheel bearings is the moisture that gets in them when you back your boat trailer into the water. And uh, the other big factor we've got is that the shorter trips that your boat does backwards and forwards to that ram, the more chance you've got of destroying your wheel bearings a lot longer than someone else who's dragging it all over the countryside. I'm 750 metres from the boat ramp and my wheel bearings are not going to last too long at all because the hubbers don't get warm enough to expel or evaporate any of that water that's ingested into the bearings themselves. So every three months to six months, you really should check your bearings, pop them out, have a look, check them to see if there's any rust or uh, case hardening missing off of the rollers themselves. And every 12 months without fail, change your wheel bearings. Whether you think you need them needed or not, it should be changed with the cones, the whole, entire assembly, reassembled and away you go. That's every 12 months. Now aside from the fact that you've got to check every three to six months, each time you go out you probably should do a cursory check around your boat trailer to make sure everything's fine. What we're looking for is uh, too much slack in the wheel bearings and to do that we grab the wheel while it's jacked up off the ground, uh, we grab the wheel top and bottom and we move it this way and we're checking for movement. Now at the moment I can feel about one to two millimetre of movement in there, which is quite uh, within uh, a, a good range, that's not a problem. If it gets too much more loose than that though, it's time to adjust the bearings. And you should be able to freely spin the wheel like that. If you can hear any rumbling noise at all, and it'll be a definite growl or a rumble, when you spin that wheel, it means that the bearing coating, the hard facing on those bearings are starting to rust away, and you're going to have some problems down the track, and probably not too distant. So. Just check it, a free spin, make sure you can hear that it's uh, spinning nicely without too much noise or rumble and it should be fine. If you're unsure how to pull out, replace or service your wool bearings, take it to your marine dealer or your local mechanic. It's a fairly simple job, it's a little bit messy, there's plenty of grease, but suffice to say if you're not sure, just take the safe bet, take it to someone who's uh, experienced and licensed to do the job. One thing you'll need a lot of in your boat and trailer maintenance kit is some water dispersant. And you can use it on all sorts of things, uh, parts of your trailer, engine head underneath the cowl, uh, anything that moves as a lubricant. In years gone by we've had all sorts of dispersants and uh, some of these particular uh, items were quite detrimental to soft plastics and rubbers on your trailer and also uh, in, in particular underneath your engine cowl around the head. So the most recent thing that's come on board is lanolin based products and these are made from basically a derivative of uh, sheep's wool and they are pretty well guaranteed not to harm anything at all. Uh, they leave an oily film, they waterproof nicely, they can get in under the engine cow, they don't cause any dramas with uh, the plastics and, and whatnot under there. So what you need to do is uh, go along to your trailer first up and you'll find uh, U-bolts such as these that are zinc illumined rather than galvanised. So you can go along and give those a bit of a spray. This particular product is Lanatech and uh, 
Honda Marine are so confident uh, in the quality of this particular water dispersant that they recommend it to use on their engines and under their engine cows on the engine head without any uh, fear of it uh, being detrimental to soft plastics and the like. Your propeller may have uh, a locking tab like you see on this Honda engine or it might have a split uh, pin. Either way, remove it, put the correct size socket on there and spin the nut off, putting it somewhere where you're not in the gravel so it can get dirt and rubbish in it. So removing the locking tab, lift the propeller clean off and what we're looking for is fishing line sitting around this plate and around the back of it. This one's nice and clean at the moment so I'm lucky we don't have to unwind anything. Uh, we've still got grease on there which is important because this, uh, these two parts have to be lubricated otherwise excessive wear and tear will take place. So once you've checked that, make sure it's got plenty of grease, slide the propeller back on. We'll put on our base for the locking tab. Locking tab can sit in there and the nut goes back. Well there you have it, an A to Z on basic boating, but you're going to be learning as long as you're on the water. So have a look at what you've seen here, put it into practice and learn a whole lot more. So have a happy and safe boating journey. I'm Rick Huckstep, thank you.